Hey everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here then hi, I'm Amy. Long time no speak to my returning subscribers. I had a little break, I'm back. I mean I say this every time but like this time like I'm back, trust me. Get your cup of tea, we're in for a big old pretty little thing haul today. Does anyone else get this? When they, I spent over £200 right on pretty little thing, the orders come and I'm like is that it? I thought maybe two bags, one pretty little thing bag, one parcel, 200 pounds. Make it make sense. If you're new here, then hi. As I've probably already said, my name's Amy. I would love it if you would stick around, go down below, subscribe. Honestly, it means the world to me and give the video a thumbs up. But yeah, let's just get straight into the video. I'm excited, I love clothes. So here we go. This is it. This is 200 pounds worth of clothes. I mean, yeah, I don't know. I've not opened it, so this is first impressions for me as well. Where do I start? This is the most me bit of the haul, so I'm going to start here. They had this little two-piece set in like a bright blue as well, and I really wanted it in that colour, but it was sold out, of course. I picked up these really, really cute little comfy shorts they say more self-love club i mean not sure about the quote but i thought they were really cute and at the moment i love wearing like racer neck top and little short two pieces they're just they're a bit of me at the moment so i picked up these shorts i got them in a small guys i am filming on my phone again at the moment me and this canon g7x we don't get along okay so we're back on the phone so i can't tell you the prices but I'll link everything down below, but it was very affordable, all affordable. So if you want to shop any of the stuff, then go down below. And then obviously I picked up the matching top. There, it was basically a three piece. There was like a jacket, like a zip hoodie as well, but I didn't pick it up because they're not really a bit of me. Like I don't really wear them. It's just this really, really cute racer neck back. Is it racer back or racer neck? Racer neck t-shirt it's not a t-shirt it's like a vest it just says more self-love club on the front again and i was just thinking that was a cute sunday outfit a chill outfit i love it let's do another two piece i picked up this olive textured cut out two piece now this i don't know whether it gives me festival vibes or or what but it comes with these like um shorts they're not very stretchy, you know, and they are a bit see-through, but I picked them up in an A and they're like shorts with cut out sections in and it also comes with a matching top. And I was thinking, dress it up, cute little night out outfit or festival outfit. I'm going to like a little local day festival at the end of August and I think this could be cute for it. So these are the shorts. This is the top, however, I have just realised the sleeves aren't attached. They're like, do you know what that gives me? That gives me like Danica from Love Island vibes. You know, she always used to wear like gloves and I'm not sure how I feel about that. I also picked the top up in an A. Um, it's like, again, a racer top and it has these sleeves to try on. However, they are like stuck onto the label. So if I don't like it, can I send it back? What would you guys think? I guess I can because I can't try it on unless I take it apart. So I will probably just still send it back if it doesn't fit. Of course, I had to pick up a pair of cargos. These feel like such a nice fabric. I mean, they actually feel like tr like expensive trousers. I picked these um, charcoal grey cargos up. They are, are they wide leg? They're very wide at the bottom, but they honestly feel amazing i got them in a size a i pretty much get everything in a size a um they've got belt loops as well which i like and on the back they've got this little plt detailing which i think is really cool um it says plt shape okay if they're shape i mean they're probably not going to fit me i'm not one of them like i'm real curvy girls they've got the pocket detailing down them i just love them i think they're really cool and then my idea with these was to put this top of it i'll show you the top next and then I was going to pair with it this, it looks really big actually. I got it in a six, it's a six, it's a little bardo top. Um, 
and it's just like a light grey and I thought like the contrast of the light grey and the dark grey I feel like that could be like a look it's got this like lace detailing at the side and I thought that with those cargos it would just look really cute I just love contrasting definitely with trainers but still like dressy guys I did another two-piece moment I mean I picked up a lot of two pieces in this haul what can I say this is sick it's this like camely browny beigey um colored top i mean it's like a blazer slash shirt i feel like it will look better when you see the try on clip it is an open back which i'm loving at the moment this bit here is adjustable as well so you can make it like tighter so your boobs don't fall out and then on the front it's got this button and then a slip so hopefully the boobs don't fall out long sleeved i'm thinking like night owl that kind of vibe then i also picked up the trousers to go with this this i think this might be my favorite like piece in the haul they're basically low rise cargoes they're low waisted and i feel like low waisted is coming back around isn't it and that does look like a big waistband though oh don't worry it is adjustable so you can adjust them to your waist and then just straight leg all the way down we got another pair of cargoes I think I've actually probably got enough cargoes in my wardrobe that I've never wore before. But I feel like cargoes are just, they're the one, aren't they? These are in a size 8 and they're also low rise khaki cargoes. I'm not sure how I feel about low rise because I hate like my waist and hips. Like I feel like the ratio is just not a vibe. I do prefer high waisted things. But I'm going to give them a go. I've not worn anything low rise. And I see everyone starting to wear low rise now. So I thought I would give it a go. They are cuffed at the bottom as well a little bit. Not anything major. But I kind of like that. And then they've got the pockets. They've got this um, belt. I don't know if I'd wear the belt. I think I might just take the belt off to be honest. I did get a top to pair with. However, I'm not sure if they actually match now they're like in front of me. But I'll show you the top and we can we can decide together. Yeah, I think the greens are just um, like a bit off. It's the same as the other top that I picked up. It's this little bardo with the lace detailing down the side. The colours are very off, so I won't be pairing these together. Maybe these with like a cream bralette or something that would look cute i'm sure i have something else i can pair the this top with just thought it's like cute but still cash and i just need more tops like that in my wardrobe now this is kind of an addition that i've been looking at getting for a while now to add to my wardrobe a basic piece that you can wear so many ways it's this oversized like faux leather jacket and i'm not really a leather jacket kind of girl because when i was younger like my mum would buy me like the fitted ones and just the texture, the feel of it on me, I didn't like. And this is lined inside, which is really nice. It's really, really soft, actually. And it's kind of like, it's oversized. So I can just picture myself, like, going on a night out, throwing this over the top of, like, cargoes, and it's still looking cool. Because I've decided I like looking cool. I don't like looking pretty and wearing dresses. I like looking cool. Does that make sense? <laughs> Probably does not make any sense. But... I've just been thinking, like, we're coming into winter. I need some more jacket, like, choices. I've... I don't know. I just don't feel like this is a staple that you need. Like, you could even wear, like, trackies, a little crop top, and throw this over the top. I just feel like you can wear it in so many different ways. And it has also got this um, little belt with it as well. I will just have a little play around when I put it on. But this gives me molly may vibes i picked it up in an eight just because it looked quite oversized on the model i think the model was wearing an eight so i got it in an eight and i feel like this is just an essential everyone needs one of these on to the last couple of pieces now we've got the tiktok viral corset top i didn't jump on the hype when these were first a thing but that is gorgeous the fabric is really thick i love the hook and eye detail is that hook and eye fuck knows oh i nearly got makeup on it the boob bit is sticky so it's not gonna like slip i don't know that with some cargoes that is stunning i'm not sure why i decided to go for cream because i'm orange but we'll give it a go is this one definitely in cream yeah it is in cream and i got it in a six just because we're not gifted on the boob side of things so i picked her up in a six 
Last but not least, I literally picked this up because it, I feel like it was just like a staple that I needed in my wardrobe. It's just this little red racer back um, crop top. It's just an essential with shorts, cute, jeans, cute, leggings, cute, joggers, cute. Yeah, I just wanted to pick up a little crop top really. Um, but yeah, that is everything that I picked up from Pretty Little Thing. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did, please smash a thumbs up and also subscribe down below. Honestly, it means the world to me, but I'll see you guys next week for a brand new video. Bye guys.